um yeah i actually did um physical pt on my on my left ankle and i did it i want to say for two months like just rigorous training and they had me doing um like some of the movements the impact or or whatever it would just make my ankle crack and they had no no reasoning for it they couldn't figure out why it was i did x-rays i did mris it yeah it, there was nothing there so they were like oh well everything's fine but then i'm going through these movements and they're hearing these loud cracks and it's like all right well something's going on here and you guys aren't helping me with anything but whatever i went through that paid them all this money two months worth of training they said okay you're cleared that same day that i got released from them i sprained my ankle again mm. playing basketball with my cousin i was like why did i do all this what was the point I of all this so and then i i found you i don't know how i found you honestly uh but I found like your YouTube or something. And uh, I was kind of just freestyling with it because obviously I didn't know exactly how to do it, but I was like, I'll give it a try. And um, I think I was just doing the toe curls, maybe the figure eight marbles or whatever. And off of like one session or like a week of me doing that, I felt 10 times better. I was like, how, that doesn't make any sense <laughs> like that doesn't make any sense yeah but i knew it was real from that point i was like okay there's something serious right. with this so right. yeah it is it is very uh no it's gonna risk you your body actually going to like this training a lot because you're you're when you are running a 4.5 40 yard dash officially mm -hmm. that means your body is partial driven more partial driven than majority of the people that means your body likes any type of fascial exercises, which is my exercises, yes. rather than muscular exercises, which is what PT does. Yes. So yes. the problem with the PT's approach, because they don't, uh, in their textbooks, there is nothing about fascia. There is no paragraph on fascia in the, in the textbooks of PT. Yeah. So, so you, how are you going to apply something or fix something that you never learned? You can't. So that's, that's the issue. Okay. So what we're going to do, the first thing is we're going to do the elevated tall curls. Since you don't have the ball, uh, mm -hmm. we're going to do the elevated tall curls. We're going to do that two minutes each foot. Cool. All right. Uh, one foot at a time. One foot at a time. Yeah. I'm going to start a timer for two minutes. So this is what you want to follow also. So when you do these exercises, you try to do each exercise is for at least two minutes. So once your hyper arc fascial tension level is high, you work the whole body. Okay. You basically get rid of like, I don't know, half a, half a million exercises <laughs> with this one exercise. Yeah. See, like right now, like my feet are sore. So I just tried to like go like this, mm -hmm. just to like kind of stretch it out. Normally that would crack like four or five times, just pop, 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 pop. And now it's... Right. There's nothing. Good. Keep going. I know on the standing leg, you, you start to feel a lot of glutes, right? Yes. Uh, what's the score on one to 10? For my glutes on my right? Mm -hmm. uh, like a nine and a half. Okay, excellent and rest good and what do you feel on your marble side um i just felt a lot of um my tendon mm -hmm. that's what i felt the most of. okay um maybe a little hamstrings but very little glutes very little not right. much there okay that's fine now we're going to go to the other side we're going to use the other side with the marble and this side is going to be the balancing leg same same speed and everything. Okay, get ready. And we start. And rest. Okay, how do you feel on this side? Um I felt my arc. My arc on this. Um I think my tendon as well. Mm -hmm. Um 
on my balanced leg, I felt like my glutes were like an eight, eight and a half maybe. Um, and then I felt tension here to my calf. Okay, that's good. That's good. At least now you can feel some on this side. That's good. That's mm -hmm. good. All right. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do. Have you done the high park hop? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, what do you feel in that? Um, I feel like my glutes get heavy. Okay, and your ankle can take that actually. Mhm. Mm you doing the the two foot or the one foot? Uh, I try and do both. I don't know if I'm doing it correctly per se. Okay, um, let's let's do it together. We're okay. gonna do the two foot hyperarchia first. We're gonna do two minutes, and then we're gonna do the one foot. Okay. Yep. Let me and rest. Okay. Uh, first, we're gonna talk about what you feel. What What do you feel in the body? Um, a lot of sensation in my feet. Mm hmm. Works. Mm hmm. A lot of calf activation. Mm hmm. Um, not much in my hamstrings, but I feel it in my glutes. Mm -hmm. How much in the glutes? Um, probably like a six or seven. Six or seven. And how much in the calf? Um, like a seven or eight, seven and a half maybe. Okay. And how much in the ankle? Um, mm, not much. I don't really feel anything in the ankle. Okay. How much in the arc? The arc's like a nine. Arc's a nine. Wow. Okay. On both. That means, right. That means that means we can improve a lot. Okay. Yeah. So so first is your localized area, which is your arc. So your arc, your feet has to get strong first. When that gets stronger, whatever stimulation you throw at it, it's it's not it's not a problem. So it's 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 basically say, oh, I don't feel anything. Then then it goes up. So right now it's it's your your calf need to be strengthened still. So once your calf is done, then all the sensation is gonna go to your glutes. Good. How do you feel on this side? Yeah, a lot of arc. Um, definitely a lot of glutes too. Uh -huh. um, no wobbling up here. Felt something like right here. Nothing crazy. Just felt something activity or something i don't know right uh that's okay that's right so on the other side you didn't feel the glutes right with the no not much not right. much it's knee yeah so the connection is 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 less also because you have a lot of adhesions in the quad on that leg mm -hmm. we need time to get rid of it okay. so so this is what we need to do okay so okay so yeah, so so it's not bad. I mean, it's it's not bad. We found a lot of problems, but uh, we understand very clearly, very clearly, precisely where the issue is. Yeah. Because there's a lot of adhesions on your left quad and yeah. it's preventing you from using your glutes properly. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get rid of that and we're gonna build a connection back, which you, you should have. Okay, all right. I feel like I'm ready for my next workout. I'm waiting for tomorrow now. <laughs> yeah, good. Very good. No, you're 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 actually very gifted. Uh, I tell you, I I because I I see a lot of athletes. I know how their body works. You're actually very talented in your body. Like like that was just maybe serendipity, but naturally you're just gifted. So you can build up much quicker. A lot of people they don't have what you have, mm -hmm. and you it will take them maybe months and years to get to where you are today. So yeah. you have a high start already. Awesome. What, what, what I mean by months and, and years is, is doing my training. They had to do like months and years of training to get to where you are, but you're yeah. already more advanced. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm, I'm ready and I'm willing to do the work. So I'll definitely keep you posted on the progress. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. And uh, congratulations with you and uh, Wei Li and uh, you and Alistair, I saw that on Instagram or maybe it was on Facebook, but I saw that he's starting to get in on it too. So congratulations yeah. on that. That's gonna yeah. be a monster. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen. That's why it's so interesting.